All right, uh, we're about to get the exclusive announcement right here in the Situation Room. Uh, the mayor of Los Angeles set to announce whether he will or will not run for governor of California. The mayor, Antonio Villaraigosa, is joining us live uh, from Los Angeles. Uh, mayor, thanks very much for coming in. Hi, Wolf. How are you? Good. Yeah, you told me a few weeks ago that uh, you would uh, tell us right here in the Situation Room your decision. I know you've been agonizing over this decision for weeks, if not months. Are you going to run to become the next governor of California? The answer is no. And uh, I make that decision uh, because, as I've said many times, uh, I love uh, the city I was born and raised in, uh, the city that my grandpa came to 100 years ago. Uh, cities all across the country are on the front lines of the challenges uh, facing us in terms of the economic crisis. Here in the city of L.A., a 12.5% unemployment rate. Uh, 21,000 people have lost their home over the last two years. Uh, we're facing an unprecedented and historical budget deficit of $530 million. And I feel compelled uh, to complete what I started out to do. Uh, I said to Los Angeles four years ago to dream with me. I said we were going to take on the many challenges that we face in the city, uh, public schools and public safety, the issue of the environment. Uh, I said that we were going to do uh, everything we could uh, to come together as a city. And I can't leave uh, this city uh, in the middle of a crisis. But you know, um, you, know, that. you know, Mayor, if you're the governor of California, there's a lot you could certainly do to help not only the people of Los Angeles, but a lot of other cities throughout that state as well. You're right, Wolf, and that's why this was uh, an agonizing decision. Uh, what is going on in Sacramento currently uh, is an abomination. Uh, the system is fundamentally flawed. It's broken. Uh, it's, it's currently in a meltdown as we speak. But... I was elected uh, mayor and re-elected uh, by the people of this city. Uh, they've given me the honor uh, for a second term. And uh, I feel compelled uh, to complete uh, the promise that I made to them. Uh, I'm going to dream, and I want the people to dream uh, with me. But in order to do that, we're going to have to take on the immediate challenges of finding jobs, of turning the economy around, of continuing the education reform, of building on the public safety record that we've established uh, where we're the second safest big city in America, crime down eight years in a row, uh, and uh, safer than any time since 1954. But uh, those uh, things are good, but they're not good enough. Uh, we've got to do more. You know, the... Uh, and uh, I've been... I, I was going to say, Mayor, the... the the other guys who are running, including uh, Jerry Brown, uh, Gavin Newsom, the mayor of San Francisco, uh, in all the polls, it showed that you would have been very, very competitive with them. Uh, when did you make up your mind that this is something you didn't want to do, run for governor? I've been making up my mind for a long time, frankly. I, the reason why I didn't uh, early on uh, make a decision one way or the other was because, as I said, uh, uh, this city's given me so much. Uh, I didn't want to walk away. But as you said, uh, the challenges at the state at, are, are so great as well. I was Speaker of the Assembly. Uh, I have a great deal of support uh, in the legislature and throughout the state. But uh, this is about uh, the city I love. And uh, I also have a young girl, uh, 16 years old. Uh, she's the apple of my eye. And she's got two more years of high school, and then she's gone. And I don't want to be campaigning for uh, a year and then uh, leading the state in Sacramento and my, my little precious is, uh, you know, finishing up her high school it's education. Always, it's always uh, personal decisions as well as political decisions. The L.A. Times poll had your approval number at 55 percent approve of the way you're doing your job, 37 disapproved. There was a cover of Los Angeles magazine that branded you as a failure. Uh, I'm sure you've seen that cover as well. Uh, are you ready to endorse someone now for the Democratic nomination? Well, let me just say, when I, when I was asked in a press conference what I thought about it, I said, great picture. Three years younger, 10 pounds lighter. Uh, you know, that's what happens when you're mayor. Uh, you're the focus of uh, the good times and the bad. Uh, the fact of the matter is uh, we've got many challenges in this city. Uh, in, a, in a time when the unemployment rate is at 12.5%, a 55% approval uh, isn't so bad. 
but I recognize that I've got a lot of work to do. Who do you like? Who do you like for the, who do you like for the nomination? And I've got to do a better job, uh, even uh, than the job that we've done over the last four years. In terms of who I like, I'm not focused on that. Uh, I'm focused on my job and the challenges that we're facing. There's plenty of time to weigh in uh, on that race. I can tell you this: uh, whoever uh, is going to be the next uh, governor of the state of California, better talk turkey with the people of California. Uh, I said the system is broken, and, is, and it is. A two-thirds vote to pass a budget, one of only three states in the country that require that. Two-thirds vote uh, to pass taxes, one of, what, 16 or 17 that requires supermajority. Uh, term limits is broken. The fact of the matter is uh, we need to support open primaries. The initiative uh, right. process is broken when it takes a majority vote to deny a whole group of people the fundamental right to marry, but uh, you can uh, pass a, you have to, you need a two thirds vote to pass a budget. So there's a lot of things broken. I hope to participate in that conversation, but my focus will be on the city of Los Angeles. Uh, my focus will be on, uh, in the national stage, uh, really uh, making the case for cities and metropolitan areas. I just elected the second vice president of the US Conference of Mayors. We're gonna be in, uh, Washington, D.C., making the case that if we're going to turn America around, uh, we've got to turn our cities around. Mayor Villaraigosa, we'll see you, we'll see you here in Washington, D.C. Thanks very much. Thanks for living up to your commitment to tell us uh, first uh, your decision, uh, and the decision is you are not uh, running for the uh, governor uh, governor's race in the state of California. Thanks very much for coming in. Thank you, Wolf. Uh, Jessica Yellen's our next.